A kangaroo rat is one of the cutest rodents I've ever seen. Let me show you how I caught this guy. Here's one of the live catch mouse traps I'm going to try out in the desert to see if we can catch a kangaroo rat. It's the Vensmile House Mouse Trap. Humane catch and release, reusable, non-poisonous, and it won't hurt your fingers. Now online I've seen several different versions of this exact same trap for sale sold under different brand names. Currently on eBay you can get a green version of this trap for $23.71 for a box of two. I wish I bought that version instead of the one I bought on Amazon. It was $35.37. And the one detail I didn't notice is it said quantity one. So even though the box says two, it came with only one trap. I'll take it out of the box and see what it looks like. Here's the vent smile trap. Now one thing I like about this version is it's much larger than some of the other examples I've seen. But the design's pretty common. There's a latch on the floor that holds up a door and a spring. When the mouse goes inside and steps on the latch, the door closes and you got him. It's really easy to set. You just push up the door and it clicks in. The mouse or rat will enter, step on that, bam. Now I like that it closes from the top instead of folding up from the bottom. When it folds up from the bottom, they tend to get their tails caught. But when it comes down, there's a less chance of that happening. Except for the kangaroo rats, their tails are really long. Now I'm curious how well it works. First we're going to test it out with our pet mice. Then we're going to go set it up in the desert and try to catch wild kangaroo rats. I'm going to match the color of our mouse with the color of our trap. Go on inside. Oh, we got him. That worked out pretty well. We're going to go put him back in his cage and then set it up in the desert to catch the wild kangaroo rats. Come on out. We'll set up our mouse trap, put some seeds, and then set up the trail camera. The ground's too hard, so I'm going to stick it in a cow pie. Let's see if we can get a desert rodent to go inside tonight and get caught. I went to go check the trap this morning and the doors closed. We caught something. Hopefully the trail camera and the cow pie worked. It looks like we caught a kangaroo rat. What a cool species. It almost looks like a gerbil and it hops around on its big hind legs like a kangaroo. It has a long tail with a bushy brush on the end. Let's take a look at him and then we'll let him go. He's so cute. Look at how beautiful this animal is. The big eyes, whiskers, tiny ears, and tiny front feet. But look at these back feet. They're humongous. And the tail, that is so long. It was really fun catching a new rodent species, but we're going to let it go. Well, I'm back from the desert, and it's question and answer time. Clementine is taking a nap, so if she starts making noise on the monitor, I'll go get her. But for now, she's sleeping. In the last video, I got quite a few good questions. The first one is... Please keep one as a pet if possible. They're referring to the kangaroo rats I caught in the last few videos. Now I have to admit they're really cute and friendly. I brought my light box to take some photos and I could hold those kangaroo rats in my hand. They wouldn't bite. So they seem like they'd make a good pet, but there's one problem. 
In the state that I live, there's rules on which animals you can take out of the wild and keep as pets. The rules are called Division 44, and the rules specifically list which species are common and abundant enough that you can take them out of the wild and keep them as pets. So if you look at the list of mammals you can keep, there's deer mice, pocket mice, wood rats, but I do not see kangaroo rats. So they're really cute, but it's not legal to keep them as pets. Next question. In my last video, I got quite a few comments about being scruffy, growing a beard, and one person even said, don't worry, the Dollar Shave Club will sponsor you. Well, that's pretty funny. I've never actually grown a full beard. Maybe I should try, but I'm not sure if my wife would like kissing a hairy face. Now one thing that was kind of discouraging is I haven't let it grow in a while and when it did on this last hunting trip, I noticed I'm getting a lot more grays. I'm getting older. I'm just about to turn 38 and I'm turning into an old man. It seems kind of early. Now the Dollar Shave Club comment was kind of funny. A couple years ago, they did offer to sponsor one of my videos for a 30 second ad, but I was really hesitant. I don't want to turn my YouTube channel into a bunch of advertisements sponsored. A lot of YouTube channels do sponsored ads and I might have to in the future with the way things are going, but so far I've turned them down. But Dollar Shave Club did offer quite a bit of money. It was around $2,000 for a 30 second ad. But that was a couple years ago when my channel was really growing. So I can see why a lot of channels will take those brand deals. Next question. Another random food question, coffee or tea? Well, personally, I've never been a coffee drinker. It's just not my thing. No, I do like iced tea. I don't like hot drinks, but I like iced tea mixed with a little lemonade. So an Arnold Palmer or iced tea is my thing, not coffee. YouTube viewer Naz Nomad asks, is there a trap you'd really love to own but don't have or can't get where you live? Well, yes, there's a few traps I'd love to try out but can't get. One is called the Smart Trap. It's out of Europe. It seems like a really interesting electronic noose trap that's shaped like a cat. Really fun. And currently it's not available because they're still trying to develop it. I'm sure I can help them with fundraising if they give me a trap, but so far no luck. Another mouse trap I'd like to test out but can't get is called the Cat Can. It's a fun design. It's a lid with a trap door that has a cat face and it fits on a soup can. Currently it's for sale on Amazon UK, but unfortunately the seller's not willing to ship it to the US. Another trap I'd like to feature on my YouTube channel is called the Radar Mouse Trap by Retinokill. This unique mouse trap has a CO2 chamber to kill the mice and has smart technology to notify you when it's made a kill. But this mouse trap is only available to professionals in the pest control industry. And another mouse trap I'd really like to feature is made by Gorilla Traps. They claim to be the world's toughest traps. They look really stout. So maybe in the future I can get my hands on some of these elusive traps. Kylan Lee asked, do you ever get hate mail or creepy fan interactions? I would hate to hear that had happened. Well, sadly, the answer is yes. Every day I receive the most hateful, nasty comments from viewers who really don't like that I post videos about catching mice and rats. It's amazing what people will say online. I have a folder with over 10,000 hate comments on it. I mostly have fun reading them. Sometimes I'll read them on my YouTube channel, but that's part of being a YouTuber. You have to have a thick skin because the bigger you get, the more people want to hate. Now being out in public, I do get recognized, but in person, people are really gracious when I meet them. I love meeting fans. I think that'll be the final question for today. Now I did want to announce that I started a second YouTube channel, mostly as a backup and a place to post videos that aren't mousetrap related. I already put one video up about flint napping in the desert. So if you want to see that, I'll put the link down below. If you like the videos I make, please subscribe to that second channel. It's just a way to stay in touch with the viewers especially if something happens to this channel. I'm always concerned one day I'll wake up, log on, and see that YouTube deleted this channel, Mousetrap Mondays. The reason I fear that is so much of their enforcement is done with AIs, computer algorithms, and the algorithms are always getting it wrong. Just in the last few weeks, they started going after channels for animal abuse that were really robot wars. The YouTube algorithm couldn't tell the difference between machines fighting and animals fighting. That's pretty crazy. So I fear one day they'll go after my channel and I wanted to have a backup. Plus I do a lot more than just mouse traps. So gardening, hunting, the antelope hunt will be the next video, flint napping, survival, just random stuff. But if you like the mouse trap Monday videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider clicking the button right here. Currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and kangaroo rats, stay tuned. Luckily, Clementine didn't wake up. Good, she needed a nap.